Oh, okay. Today's the day. I'm going to be talking to Marigold today. That's, uh, something I've been pretty anxious about, I'll be honest, but make sure everything's good. God, I'm just so anxious. I feel nervous and tingly. Ugh. Took off the bandages and now I'm going to be wearing this now. Scar kind of healed up nicely, so that's all right. But okay, time to start the day. Chapel? Jay? Holy shit, it is you. You really are back. Yeah. It's, it's been a long time, old friend. It really has. Um, I wasn't expecting to see you. Uh, I, I, I mean, I know you were here, but you're here. So they did tell you I see you all back? That's yeah. Sad. I'm sorry, I only got back, well, just a little over a week and a half ago. Uh, yeah, where have you I, been? I've been hiding in a cave. Last time I made an appearance, I uh, was attacked, so I've been trying to stay out of the sights of people. Yeah, I thought I heard that. You were with JD and YB, right? Yeah, I was with them. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. It's the followers, and I, and I know you had your fair share of that. I'm sorry I heard, yeah. but... Nah, I'm kind of used to it at this point. I I think I should tell you something that, uh, you know, it, it wasn't wrong. I, I did go to New Sion. You, you did? Yeah. yeah. And, um, I found Skim. Do you remember Skim? Sharma's uh, right hand? Y yes, I do. Now that you mention him. Yeah, well, we fought, uh, and I ended up killing him. And... I found Elliot's grave. Elliot died. Let's see, that's news. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I know you two were, you know, working buddies, but yeah. But um, and I came back and I found my way home. And you know, half the city likes me, half the city doesn't. I'm trying to make, you know, up for me just disappearing, but yeah. I don't know. Your story is the one to tell. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, you, well, we mean my story. Um, I just, whenever they attacked old Sion or new Sion, I just hid until. I, I was able to figure out a way to get heal using this. Uh, that's it's instant teleportation. It it well, it's not instant. It took a really long time to build, but yeah, that's how I arrived. Right. Yeah. Um. Hmm. That's interesting. Um. Yeah. I, I was well, JD. Well, I heard through JD that um. You were looking for me, and you had a message. Yeah, in I, yeah, I was going to warn you that uh, Shomo was going to attack, but by the time I got here, it seems I was too late. That it had already happened, but you guys captured him. Yep, and I was gone. I, I'm sorry yes. you had to come during all that. Yeah, no, it's. I mean, it's it's not your fault. I was way too late. It's just. Yeah. I, I hear yeah. you. I, I do. But, um... Yeah. L listen, I, I was still going to make my rounds. Um, okay. Do you want to tag along? Do you want to go do your own thing? Or? Um, I might tag along. Just, like, I'm going to try to hide, though, because I still don't know yeah. who all yeah. I can trust since the last time I showed up. Yeah, you, haven't seen, you haven't seen JD, have you? Uh, not... For a little bit now. Mm. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna walk around if you want to tag along. We can chat and whatnot. Okay. So, um, 
you haven't really been in Marigold much. You've just been in yeah, hiding? pretty much. I uh, I was only here for that original day when I first got here, and then I've been hiding in caves ever since. So, nope, I haven't really seen too much. Like, uh, they gave me the tool that first day I was here. You you know why? Yeah. yeah, I know why. Oh. I'll just stay yeah, back. Yeah, if you don't mind, one one second. Morning, YB. Uh, what are you doing here? I'm just walking around. I just met Jappel. Oh. Where's... Hey, Jappel. Jappel. Hello. I'm here. Yeah, he was just catching me up. I, I know you showed yeah. up a little bit a while ago. Yeah. And, and I saw you here. I'm, I, just wanted to say hello. Well, hi. Hi. This is something wrong. You're just sitting here. I mean, this is the last place I saw you a little while back now. I don't know. I. Everyone's off doing their own thing, so I'm just sitting. Uh, I don't know how much Sai tells you about stuff, but I was going to um, talk with the city today, and um, I understand if that's not really your scene, but, you know, that's what I'm going to try doing today. You know, well, do, some, do something good for once. Yeah. I'll be there. Okay. Um. I hope you have a good day today, YB. I, I do mean that. All right, I'll I'll see you around. Okay. Come on, Jeff. Sorry about all that. It's it's a little tense. Yeah, I, I understand now. with everything that's been happening. Oh, well, I've been told it's been happening recently. Yeah, I I haven't been yeah. the best person, Jappel. Uh, I, I'll be honest yeah. with you. Like you and I go back a long way, and I, it's it's not fair to keep it away from you. But I have I haven't been the best president. Not what these people deserve. And I'm going to be talking with the people, like I said to YB and. Hopefully try to make amends. You know, one good foot forward. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure it'll all work out. Here's hoping. I'm Hopefully. kind of still their president for yeah. the moment. Yeah. I have been seeing some campaign signs around, so is there going to be a new election? Like, yeah, it's upcoming. Yeah. In fact, I might even talk about that too. So, yeah. Uh, listen, I, I'm going to go check in with... Uh, with cyanide. I'll meet up with you later, alright? I'll go. Yeah. My, yeah, I'll just go yeah. find so something to do. If you're worried about, you know, being outside for too long, maybe just hang out inside the town hall. No, nobody really goes in there, you know, beforehand, right? Okay. Maybe some people wander in there yeah. too. Yeah. You can talk. Maybe. Yeah, okay. I'll see you in a minute. Or okay. in a bit. Yep. Alright, uh, see you. Yeah, see you when the announcement happens. Yep. See you then. Oh, okay. All right. Oh. I don't think I've met this person. Uh, hello. Hey there. Hi. Um, I know you're one of Puffer's friends, right? Uh, yeah, I, I, 
I think so. It's it, it's kind of a complicated uh, friendship right now. I see. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, uh, nice cat you got. Thank you. Uh, what's its name? Uh, Pio Ver. Uh, I'm sorry, Pio Ver? Pio Ver. Pio, oh, Pio Ver. Uh, uh, French, huh? Uh, a little bit. Probably not pronounced correctly. But yeah, I like the name. I only got the one language, so my bad if I butchered the, the hell out of that name. But, um, sorry, my name's Jay. I don't think we met. Yeah, I don't... I'm Ace. Ace, Ace? Adoni. Ace Adoni. Nice to meet you. Um, w- weren't you part of the Knights, or are you? I am, yes. Oh, that's good. Um, well, then I'm sure you know about me, but, um, you know, a little awkward, I guess. You know, I haven't been around as much, but, uh, uh, how, how's how's been? How, how have you been with the knights? Everything okay over there? Yeah, um, I went for a training not too long ago. Oh, that's good. I assume like MBS or someone. Yeah, MBS. Yeah, he's always doing stuff like that. That's good. Um, well, I don't know. I've been I've been back for almost two weeks now, and you know, I'm just trying to you know meet new people, reconnect with old people that used to be here and that still are, you know. So yeah. Yeah, hey, that that's good. I, I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad you're doing good. Um, hey, uh, I'm kind of going around just a little promotion, I guess. I'm, I'm going to be talking with a bunch of people in the town hall. If oh. that's uh, up your alley, then uh, you know, love to see whoever wants to show up and hear someone like me uh, say a few words. You know? Yeah, I can. I can be there. All right. Well, that's cool. Uh, yeah. Well, nice meeting you. I'll see uh, see you and your cat around. Um, take All it right. Easy. And uh, nice you meeting you. Yeah, nice meeting you. Of course. You. Yeah, see you around. Goodbye. I wonder who else I can just run into. I want to meet new people just to get a good impression. Like, But if they know me, it's going to be hard to do that. So. <sighs> I guess I can uh, keep walking around, see who I can run into. Um, I guess I can talk to Simon again. Wonder if he's home. Oh. What's up, man? Uh, hi, how's it going? I uh, just got done with a session with uh, Meredith. Oh, also, I got that. Uh, I got the prototype you were you were you were talking about. Oh, good. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I I haven't seen Hollow. Have you? I have not actually. I just left the house. Really. Okay. Well, that's all fine and dandy. Uh, how are you, Meredith? I'm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm. I'm sorry for the. You know, the last time we spoke, things didn't go so well. I'm. Mm, I'm sorry about it's, that. It's. It's fine. It's not your fault. It is. I mean, a, like. I mean, like indirectly, it's your fault. But I. You didn't start what happened. Yeah, it's fine. I, I can take that. Um. So Simon, about uh, the whole you know gathering people for today. I, I managed to speak to a few people. I uh you haven't seen JD, have you? Actually no, I have not. Well Jappel made his way back. I was surprised JD would just let him walk out. Huh. Uh, Do you yeah. think 
Mm. Well, JD has always been busy with something, so I doubt that he even knows of Jappel's return. Well, from what I know, that JD put Jappel somewhere, you know, away from the followers. So, if JD didn't let him out, did he just figure it out for himself? Or, I mean, the, the guy's smart. I'm not saying he isn't. I'm just. That's... Nope. I mean, yeah, I was there for when JD put Jappel away. I just don't remember anything about I that. That's weird. I didn't know but, about that. Uh, that's what I was told, at least. Jappel reminded me. Hmm. Well, uh, no. That I was where all the bombs anyway. were going off, right? From what I'm being told, yeah. A couple weeks ago, right? Yeah. Then I was there for that. Apparently it was like the day or two before I even returned, right? So he's been gone for two weeks? Plus some? Not sure. It's a, it's a bit of a haze. It's something yeah. that I don't like to think about, really. Yeah, no, I, I don't want to dwell on the, you know, attacking and people getting hurt. Um, what what I mainly just came here to say was, you know, hello and um, si Simon, if you want to, you know, talk to some people, let them know that uh, we can start talking in the town hall soon. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of people walking around, but um, if you're luckier than me, maybe you you'll find some people. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess we if don't have much something... to do. If you've got something to do, I mean, I'm not uh, one for public speeches. I'll probably just head off to the library. I kind of want to mess around with enchantments again. Uh, yeah, you can go for that. I guess I gotta. I feel like yeah, yeah. I I gotta gather some people for the uh, speech. All right. Uh, okay. Well, cool. sorry, I didn't mean to you know break up uh, the the session here or anything, but just yeah. No, that's no, they're just, just chatting wrapping up anyway. All right. Well, cool. I'm gonna keep looking around, see if I can find anybody else. But uh, other than that, I'll see you guys at the town hall, or well, one of you, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. See you, Jay. I mean, if All you right. guys need me at any point, I'll be at the library probably for quite a while. Yeah, I'll be heading in that direction, but eventually I'll just go to the town hall. And if you want to talk before I start speaking, Simon, then we can chat then again. Okay. Uh, All right. I guess we'll hey, disperse. Uh, yeah, uh, nice, what, haircut, or do you just Wait, what change direction it up a bit? Was it? Oh, I, I put my... I, yeah, I the library's my back up. that way, yeah. Oh, that's I, good. I, I didn't like it in my face. It, it covered too much, so... Hey, man, I, 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 I got a you. you look, like, little... you know, distinguishable. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, it feels nice. I'm sure it does. It feels I mean, right. The nice weather, you know, I'm sure it's more relieving on the face and all that, but, uh... Yeah, um, I'm gonna keep looking around. And uh, if you can do the same, I'll just meet you at the town hall when I think we've, you know, gathered, gathered enough people. Okay. Hey, keep an eye out for Hollow. It's very important. Yeah. No, I'll see if I can find him. I, yeah. I, I haven't talked to him since the other day, right? So. Right. I'll keep an eye out. And, All right. Um, so, we should yeah. probably get moving then, huh? Yeah. Oh. I'll, I'll go this way if you want to go towards the hospital, you know. It is YB. I already spoke to YB. I'll go say hi. So I'll, I'll just continue over this way. Yeah, okay. Probably for the best. I'll see you. Hey, YB. What were you doing with Jay? Jay asked me to uh, gather people for a speech that he's having. Uh, how's it going? Uh, pretty nicely, yeah. So Anna, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, Jay? we we spoke the other day. Yeah, hi. Um, oh. hi, K. This is in KG. Yeah, this is Ku. This is the right owner of the body. The uh, correct one. Hi, Ku. Nice to meet you. Um, sadly, you. I had Asher tell me a little bit about you already. I'm sorry. What what did Asher say? Uh Asher kinda came to my office in a pretty uh angry way, let's say. And uh -oh. uh, they reminded that you are not who I thought you were, like KG or whatever. I don't I don't really know what your whole <laughs> deal was with that. So I yeah. to myself I'm not sure. I I explained a bit of it, but I'm still trying to figure it out myself. Yeah, it, yep. it, hey, it's okay. It's none of my business. I'm not here to pry or anything. Like, you know, it, it's nice to meet you, then. Yeah, same. Yeah. I, oh, I think, hey, uh, guys. Hello. Hey, hey Simon. Um, so, yeah, hey. before, before uh, 
you know, what I was going to say was I'm going to be having a little get together at the town hall. I'm going to be saying a few things. Um, if that's up your guys' alley, then I, uh, where's, you know, where's the town hall? Um, it's not oh, that path there to the yeah. right. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's not that far. A little hop and a skip away. But, uh, if that's something that interests you both, um, I would love to see a cool turnout. So. Yeah, we would totally want to listen to that. For sure. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys there. I'm going to be still talking and trying to find more people and see if they can, uh, you know, want to show up or not. But uh, nice seeing you sure. guys again. Meeting you again, Koo. Nice to meet you. Yeah. All see right. you in a bit. Uh, see you guys later. Anna? Koo? Yeah? Good to see you guys. Yeah, good to see you. Haven't seen you for a while. How are you feeling, actually? Because last time I saw you, you were pretty sick. I'm feeling... See if I can find anybody else. Just so we can get things moving. Maybe I can check out the guild, maybe there's some knights around. I'm not going down there again. Not now. Hmm. When I really think about it, there's not a whole lot of, you know, paths around here. Like, leading to places. You know, what the hell is that? That was not there just a few days ago. A laundry place? Say his laundry, huh? Whatever that's about. <sighs> Guess I can just sit and wait. Just sit here. I want to prepare something to say. I haven't really prepared anything. I just can't sit still. What's even up here anyways? Did I add something here? No, it's just an empty room. Ugh. I'm going to think about something.
Hello? Okay, I think we're good. I think I know what I have to say, but I just, I still don't know how to word it. And it's eating me up from the inside because I really just, no matter what way I word what I'm going to say in my head, I don't think people are going to want to take me seriously, want to take me, you know, serious. Or like, appreciate what I have to say. They don't even need to appreciate. What am I thinking? <sighs> I just want to show them that I mean what I say, that I'm I'm not going to run away again. I'm not going to do any stupid shit. I'm just going to... God, I'm so hungry. I should not be giving a speech on an empty stomach, but... I just don't know. I just don't know. Nobody's really shown up. Do I blame them? I know those two mates show up, but... Uh... just walking around. Why is that why is the door open? Hello? Anyone home? No. I could really go. Wait, what? Did I just see someone? No way that's MVS, right? <laughs> what the hell is he doing? Hey, uh, what's going on? I, I thought I saw you. Um, nothing much. We're just... We're just checking around for baby people. For for what? We're just, we're just looking around for creepy people, you know. Gotta make gotta make sure people don't blow up this time. Yeah, no, I remember what you were doing. Uh, sorry, yeah. I just saw you like running around. I thought I saw you, but um, hey, I'm I'm gathering people for the meeting in a few minutes. Um, oh, all right. Do Do you mind finding anyone who's like nearby? I, I told a few people. Um, Anna, Ku, you know, Simon's helping. Um, y you know, Sai, right? So. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I'll go if, you, if you don't mind, yeah, just letting people know. Uh, we'll we'll be mm -hmm. probably starting things at the town hall soon, and uh, yeah, sound cool. Uh, yep. All right, awesome. Uh, I'll see you around. See, you, I gotta go. Yeah. I gotta go find there? Right now. It, yeah. Is he here? Um, you didn't see there. I have not seen there at all since I've been back. No. Oh, uh, you, you'll get a chance to meet him. If you could, you know, I would like to talk to him after the whole speech, if he's yeah, around right. for that. Okay. All right. All right. Um, uh, I'll see you then. Yeah. yeah. I'll be at the town hall. All right. There's in town, huh? I have not seen him in two weeks. 
I didn't think you were still around, but it's good to hear you still cooking. <sighs> got some cool. Already gathering. Cool. And here I am, back in this room, because I can't stand to sit anywhere else. To hope to get started soon. Okay. Any minute now, more people start to show up, and um, maybe then we can actually, you know, do something. I'm just very nervous. I just want to make sure everything goes all right. So...
Okay. Let's start to see how much of a crowd is formed up, I guess. Not a whole lot yet. Jay? Hey, hey Simon. Uh, is this the, the most you could... I did I did see a MES in there, but I wasn't able to get to them because they were jumping between roofs. But yes, this is all together. Okay. Um I can work oh, there's right there. Um Oh I'm wow. Little, I didn't even I'm know a little nervous. I'm a little nervous about that. I haven't talked with them at all, so it's cool. I'm gonna stand up here. I don't want things to get ugly, so yeah, if you don't if, mind. If uh, you don't mind, yeah, I'm gonna come up here in just a few minutes. Uh Mid kind of panic attack. One second. Uh, I just need to <laughs> yeah, figure that out. Um, All right. Yeah, hey, I'll be back. Good luck. <clears throat> oh my god, that's a lot of people. I, what the fuck was I expecting? Oh uh, my god. I have to speak to all these guys now. Like. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, my God. I don't think I'm ready for this. Like, Asher and there are, are, are here, too? Like... I got this. I got this. Everything is going to be all right. Okay. I'm just going to speak from the heart, speak honest, and just hope that they don't hate me anymore. Okay. This is the this is how we do it. This is how I'm going to do it. Yeah, I just just put wanted down. to put the sword away. Put you don't put the sword, sword away. Remember, oh, don't you told pull out. Me. No, no, that it was a lie. We don't pull out swords on. <gasps> yeah, people. It, you it lied was, to me. I, no, it Everyone, was a joke. Sorry about them. They just came out of a cave. So yeah, oh, I mean, it don't really exist. Out, yeah. Oh, everyone, good afternoon. Thank you. Hi, if I can Hello. have everyone's attention, please. Morning, Mr. Birkenau. Good morning, Meredith. Th thank you for showing. Um, sorry, I just wanted to gather everyone uh, for a few minutes as I, uh, you know, say a few words. It has been a minute since I've uh, addressed the room, so please go easy on me. Um, I see a few new faces and some old ones. It's very nice to see. But um, one thing I wanted to say for sure today was, you know, I want to thank each and every one of you for, you know, showing up and actually wanting to hear someone like me talk. Um, where do I even start? I have been an awful, awful president. Someone that, you know, you shouldn't be looking to for answers, for, for guidance, for support, for anything. I, I can say all I want about being better in the past or being better at a time, but the more and more that I was gone, I was really thinking that I wasn't fit to do any of this for any of you. I, I made a lot of bad choices. When I was elected, I was meant to lead here, to show you all that I can be a leader, that I can keep the people safe and provide and be someone that you could all lean on. I couldn't do that. When Sharma attacked and spires were forming out of the ground and converging into the corners of Marigold, all reaching at the center, you know, just down the street over there, I panicked. I kept people out. I locked them out. I turned to drinks, and I became a worse person than I already was. And it was undeserving to each and every one of you, whether you're from Marigold or you're not. Because I was supposed to be someone you could all put your faith into. And when you all needed me to say something, to, t to talk about it, I couldn't do that. So 
When Sharma did attack and we assembled the knights, I got my act together. I, I haven't drank since. I made sure that I knew what I was doing. And when Sharma attacked, we dealt with him. We killed him twice and Hollow returned and we took care of him. We put him underground. For those of you who don't even know, he's been underground since. It has been almost half a year now. But the worst part was yet to come as I left. I just simply left. Sharma told me what he had done to my old home, and I needed to go see it for myself. I told a few people. I didn't tell most of you. I thought I was being selfless. I was being selfish. I was a fool, an idiot. All the above. Any word that you could all have already been calling me behind my back or anything, I welcome it. Hell, I shoulder it. Because I agree. But I set out for New Sion, my old home, which is literally weeks away from here. And when I got there, I saw all sorts of things that I was hoping wouldn't be true. Sharma was in line when he told me that he had wiped out every civilian in New Sion and every neighboring country. It was a sight to see as I saw tons of homes and businesses and buildings of... I saw shelters, orphan, uh, you know, places and hospitals, the town hall, all in ruins, destroyed, you know, smoldering still. I, I walked around and just felt it all come to me. It wasn't until later on when I was attacked by Sharma's former right-hand man, a man named Skim. Skim was Sharma's right hand. He was someone who was the very first follower. The same group that has been attacking you here while I was there. We got into a bit of an altercation. One that I tried to avoid, but it was clear that he wasn't going to back off. So we fought, and that's when he took my eye. Moments later, he taunted me with the, the name of someone that I held dear. And... I killed him. I was a murderer, and I am a murderer. I am not ashamed of it. Hell, I'm not hiding it. I'm telling you all that that is exactly who I am. A failure of a president and a murderer. I eventually found the grave of one of my closest companions. A former partner, if you will. Their name was Elliot, and... They were the person that was responsible for getting me out of New Sion when I was banished. They gave up their life so I could escape. Because all I did was run. And I proved that point by running from you guys. And I am so deeply sorry. After putting Elliot to rest, I started the long way home. And after a few weeks of traveling, I washed up on the shores of Marigold. And since then, I've been trying to regain people's trust. If there's e even a slither of that lying around. And I'm trying my best. I, I want to try my best. And I want you all to know I am not leaving anytime soon. I'm here to be that president that you elected. Someone I know I can be and someone I will be. So, with your consideration, I'd like you all to give me another shot. Another chance to lead Marigold. As that's all I've ever wanted to do. With that being said, there, there are a few things I wanted to, you know, also point out as I return to office, but... I welcome any kind of, uh, you know, words or thoughts on the matter. If anybody would like to share a few words. Please feel free to do so. And, you know, you guys do not have to be afraid. Speak your mind. I welcome any kind of, you know, Well, consideration or 
criticism. Well, I Anyone? love you, you and I think you're doing a good job. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, you said I'm doing a good job. I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, um, I could be doing better. And I'm going to show to you all that I will be. So if nobody else has anything to say, I was going to move on to the next part of my uh, little spiel, if that's okay with you all. Okay. Um, first thing so I'm doing... So you are still running for presidency? I, I was getting to that, yes. Um, sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Um, my first order as returning back to presidency is announcing my my running for re-election of president. And mm. I'm doing so on my own. To prove How is that to you, possible? How are you I, allowed to run by yourself? Good question, YB. Normally that's not exactly allowed, but... Exactly, it's more so, so why should there be an exception for you? What makes you so special? Because I don't deserve anyone. I don't deserve any of you. And so then you don't deserve to run again. Okay. If you can't find someone who's willing to side with you, why should we? I will. What? Forgive me for butting in, Jay. I don't know if you guys understand this. Because... It seems clearly that we are, frankly, clouded with our misjudgment and our anger towards our peers. I have recently come to the realization that we are all collectively in the wrong. Yes, Jay has made a mistake. Yes, Jay could possibly make a mistake in the future. But I can count about five of you. I'm looking at right now who have made mistakes themselves, some of which are straight up murder. I can look at myself who has made countless mistakes in their lifetime. But you know what's different between me, Asher, YB, or anybody else in this room? The difference is Jay wants to make a difference. Jay wants to make amends for that mistake that he made. And you guys are That's looking at him. You guys are looking at him like a monster. Look around yourself. Look at look look at each other. This is what we have. This is us. This is Marigold. And you guys are looking at Jay like he's the biggest enemy when in reality we all have a common enemy. We have Sharma. We have the people following him. And yet you guys are taking out all no. of that collective anger on him? Uh what's going on here? He's saying he's going to run for president again by himself without a vice president. You can't do that. That's yeah. that's Jay, literally the rules. A Hold, look, uh, I don't sure off, have a okay, uh, that's that's beside the point. What what is going on here? I wasn't why is everyone here? I, I wasn't told anything about this. I was making my rounds earlier, looking for people to tell that I was going to be doing a speech here, JD. It's nice to see, nice to see you oh, again, JD. Okay. Why don't you take a seat? Thank you. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know if I will. I'm just going to stand here. Hey, Chapel. That's his name. So that's the strange man's name. I don't mean to be rude, but I feel as if we as people have lost sight of what was really important. We are all human. And most importantly, so is Jay. He literally wanted closure on one of the most biggest things in his life. What if, what if Asher's hometown was destroyed? My hometown was destroyed. So why? Why is it that he is not allowed to get closure? Why is it that he's not allowed to 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 have a, an end of a chapter? You know, Why that's not the it? issue. 
the issue isn't the fact that he wanted closure. The issue is that he left without telling the people who needed to fucking know. He's that not the enemy. Good. That's not what's here. But he doesn't deserve to run here again when he left without telling the people telling people. Perhaps not. I try to keep so, as much of a neutral point as possible, but if you have a point of power and you leave during it, that's kind of a problem. You make a good point. Yes, it is true that he shouldn't technically be allowed to run again. But this isn't not this isn't only about running, and I know that. I know this is not just about presidency. I know. You guys do not like Jay. In fact, some of you here despise him. It's not just about presidency. You don't want Jay here at all. I know that. And you can't look at me and lie to me and say that it's not true. In fact, I believe, rightfully, that some of you here would like Jay dead. Sorry, not, just them. not just them. Not just the followers. I can see it in some of your eyes. Maybe no one here. Maybe. But you guys are being too hard on somebody who made a mistake. He doesn't deserve a second chance, sure. But he doesn't deserve this much hate either. He's just a human. <laughs> I don't know. I, Maybe. I understand where you're going with this side, but we can't just, you know... Instantly start liking him again. He hasn't. I'm not done asking much. you for the liking. I've never him. asked for you guys to ever start. No one is asking you for the like, Jay. I'm not asking. He's not asking. No point have Why Jay in any of this. He's gonna lose anyways if everyone here hates his guts. That's okay. fair enough. That's a good point, Asher. You know what? Me? I'd say let him run with a vice president and see how far he goes. If he can even get a vice president. That's why well, I don't want that's... to drag anyone down with me to prove to you that I'm going to lose no matter what, but I'm still going to make an effort to actually run and try to be the best that I can be for Marigold. You can't run without a vice president. Then he won't win. Then I won't win. But All right, still, then... you have to at least follow the rules, I feel. Yeah, I mean, just well, because we're you were rules, president right? and then you left mm -hmm. for closure and then came back, that doesn't mean you can just run again. You still have to stick to the rules, too, just like everyone else does. Okay, well, how about this? If we could find Jay a vice president, then we can let him run. That's fair. All right. That is, someone who's willing to works. run. No, like, forceful or anything No, like we're that. not going to force anybody to run with Jay. That's awful. I wouldn't want to force that on anybody. But yes, that is fair. If he wants to return to presidency, then he should follow the rules. But that, again, is not what I'm talking about. All I ask is some respect. We are destroying Jay's mental state because we're angry at him for a mistake. I don't believe he should be forgiven for what he did. In fact, I don't forgive him. But I'm standing right here next to him because I can see the betterment of Marigold and what really should be what we're looking for. I know that we need more allies than enemies. That's the bottom line. And I'm tired of making enemies. So, of course I'm going to stand with Jay. In fact, if we cannot find somebody to run for vice president, maybe I will be his vice. I don't know. Don't you already I have a vice president, though? Doesn't mean we can't stop running. I just feel it's rude towards them. Well, me and Sam, we, uh, I think he'd understand. Uh, when did Ace get a cat? I, I appreciate the words, Simon. But right. moving on from that, whether I find a vice president or not, that'll determine whether I run again. The second order that I will be doing is decon deconsecrating J Enterprises as a government building. Deconsecration. It'll no longer be affiliated to anything in the government or its politics. It'll return to what it was meant to be as a place for the community meaning that it will only ever work for the law firm and, you know, maintenance, cleaning up the town. I will not use it to my advantage whatsoever. The third and final order is moving Sharma from his cell 
underground, to the new Finnish prison outside of Marigold. Where he will spend the rest of his days there, not seeing anyone. Only me and a select few. To treat him, and to keep him alive as long as possible. Any questions? Okay. Meeting adjourned. Thank you all for coming. I apologize for getting riled up. Ladies and gentlemen. I think, uh, I think I just need sleep, that's all. I'm a, I'm a little upset, frankly, on how we treat a human being. It's a bit deplorable. I, uh, I have an enemy. And I hope you guys do, too. I saw something. <sighs> Whatever that is about. What to do next?
don't know. What do I do? They were really adamant on me not running for election again. Was it smart to think of that? To run alone? <sighs> Looks like I will need a vice president if they simply just won't allow me to run. But I'm president. Shouldn't I just be allowed to do so anyway? Bend the rules a little? can't think like that, but like, I want to so bad. Where do I go from here? I really just don't know. And I'm not even hungry. What the? there? Where the fuck did you come from? Hello? How's it going? It's going. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. I haven't had a chance to speak with you. So that's after all that, that's all you're going to do, huh? Just come back and act like nothing happened? You know that's not what I'm doing here. What are you doing here? I'm back to live in my home. To prove that I can be someone who can actually do something. Mm -hmm. Truly. So what's the goal here? Just that? Just live? I had a epiphany of sorts. I needed to lose something to see how good I had it, I guess. Along those lines. I just want to do some good. That's all. Then do it the right way. What way do you propose? I don't know. How about not seizing power immediately as you get back? There, I know you, I'm not going to, you know, patronize you. There are stuff bigger than both of us at play here. We have to deal with the, the these people that are now following Asher, the, the followers, and moving Sharna. I, I noticed you walked out. I don't think you heard what I said about that. Oh, I heard. I heard. Those, those three things will be happening. Mm -hmm. And that is all. Yeah, and how do you plan on doing that? Showing the people that I mean what I say. No, I mean, I mean, how do you plan on actually getting it done? Which part specifically? All of it, you know. Well, as I was just thinking to myself, it's clear to me now that it was a wild idea to suggest that I run on my own, and it seems like the people won't let me do that anyways. You know they won't. I won't. I know. So I'll figure something out. 
-hmm. because I want to be that person. I won't fail you all again. The second part is personal to me because I don't want to be seen as someone who's just using advantages over advantages and breaking rules and bending them. J Enterprises is very close to my heart and I'm not going to use it against you know, the people to show that I have power with it. Once I finalize those papers, it'll be done. Probably tomorrow. It's not going to be a government building anymore. I won't have access to people like MBS or the Knights that, you know, uphold any rules in there. Asher was the last person to try to break that when he came in with his weapons and armor and attacked me. So, if people really want me dead, they are free they to go onto J Enterprise's property and kill me. Then you all can go about your day, just like how you all have been when I was gone. And the final part. I have a prototype with me. Mm -hmm. This. Yeah. Putting this around Sharma mm -hmm. will, for a lack of a better word, disarm him, both physically and mentally. He won't be able to do anything about it. You see, Simon, I have no doubt in my mind that you're capable of getting Sharma from place to place. My question is, who's going to let you do it? Are you going to stop me there? Well, the way I see it, who are you to do it? You know, you don't have the proper authority. And, you know, you come in here, all your ideas, what, what makes you think we don't already have precautions in place for sure? You haven't been here, you don't know. What I know is that Sharma continues to live and that he's there. And I know the followers know this. Yeah. I'm moving him to a more secure location. Anybody mm -hmm. can get into here. And I'm you're faithful. allowed to do that because? He is my burden and my alone. If I can't have anyone's help, I'll do it on my own. Fairly certain he's currently not under your custody. So who are you to take him from here? I'm simply me there. I'm just another person. And what does that mean? That I want to do something good? I have a lot to make up for. You, you know this more than anyone. I do. You can't just waltz in here and just take him, though. There are... You, you don't have what you had before. Which is what? Trust? I Power. know I squandered it. Power. Okay. So I'm not really president anymore, am I? No, you're not. You are not the president. You haven't ever since you left. With JD in charge. You can't just come back and take it back. You do not have the right. You do not deserve to come back after what you did. You don't get the right to just come back and declare yourself president. You do not deserve to be here at all. And what about JD? Do you trust his judgment? That's irrelevant. No, it is, because I left him in charge doesn't matter. Not, not anything I can do about it. So are you in charge of what Sharma is and is not? I don't have that power. Then who do I speak to there? The president. Look in the mirror? Guess what? JD resigned from J Enterprises and as my running mate. That leaves me there. My burden. No one else's. Not by right, at least. He did so unless not. you want... So unless you want to deal with him yourself and move him by yourself or whoever you can rope into it, then by all means. But I don't want that on you. I want it on me because that's what I deserve. If you were to attack me or get free and hurt me or do anything, that's on me. 
It won't be on you. It won't be on MBS. It won't be on JD. It won't be anyone who is even close to power. JD is no longer in power. Whether the conversations that people have had before, thinking that he's not fit for the job, fine. The pro- the thing is, he's not in charge anymore. No, nope. did he resign from office of the president? Did he say those words? I have a book with his signature. Did he appoint you as his replacement? Did he do that? Doesn't have to appoint. I'm the one who made him acting. Doesn't matter. You no longer have power. Did you appoint him back? Did he appoint you back into office of the president? He simply resigned there. He didn't give me all the power in the world in writing. No, he did not. So then... I think you can see why, right? On my final note, he had an acting vice president, as far as I'm concerned. That's where the leadership goes. He'll be moved tomorrow. Looking forward to it. Anything, MBS? Much. You... You could have worded things better. Maybe. Maybe. Just try not to get anyone else riled up. I don't want people ending up in the hospital again. Noted. Yep. I have no right to ask you, but are you going to assist me now? For what? With moving Sharma. If I'm not there, then who's going to do it? That's why I'm hoping you'll agree to do this with me peacefully. Yep. I can trust that your allegiance with there isn't going to be in, brought into question. What allegiance? You two always work close. He clearly yeah, doesn't side with me. Are you going to side with me over him? I side with no one. Are you going to assist me then? Well, I like to think of it as you're going to assist me get rid of Sharma. I don't want any of that on your hands. If you can just help me open the doors, I will bring him in myself. All right. Is that agreeable? Yep, just one condition. Sure. My prison, my rules. Well, you told me you have a spot for him, right? Yep. So what other rules do I need to agree to? I get to do with him what I want to. Do you have anything in mind? No. Nope. I'm just going to poke him with a stick. He doesn't die. No matter what. I know. I just want to find out what makes him tick. That's agreeable, agreeable with me. To an yep. extent. I don't... He cannot die. He cannot be starved. And he cannot be depraved of anything. No, no, no. It, it'll be humane conditions. Don't worry about that. I'm not a monster. What, are you going to beat him with a stick? With a nope. blade? Nope. I'm simply just going to run some tests. I've been meaning to ask. That's what I kind of task there and Simon to do. Did anything ever come back? You'll find out. When will that be? Soon. When I, whenever we bring Sharma down there, you'll find out what we've what we've been working on. Okay. Fair yeah, enough. five months is a long time. Well, I'm hoping there was something. Oh, there's definitely something. Fine. We've all waited months. I think we can wait a little bit more. Yep. Is there anything else? Nope. I'm going to go watch people now. Keep an eye on Asher, please. I don't know why he was showing his face. I always am. Okay. I'll make sure. He's being nice today. Maybe it goes without saying, and I don't want this to be me, you know, sucking up to you or anything, but if you can give me a good report and good things to look forward to, I can, you know, send a little something extra away, a little bit of payment, right? All right. 
please don't take that in a way to bribe you. And I just want to make sure shit you, is done right. Yeah, you don't have enough money to bribe me. I think I'm going to just sit here and enjoy my lunch for now, MBS, if there's nothing else. All right. See ya. I'll be seeing you. Hi. Hey, how are you two doing? Well, we are doing all right as much as we could. Been more interested in how are you doing. I could be better. Uh, should we probably sit somewhere where all three of us can sit? Maybe over there? It's oh, grumpy. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Sure. Maybe here. Mm-hmm. There. Okay. What's on your mind? I mean, just wanted to say that I think Sai is right. And look, I don't know much about what happened there because we went, we came to Marigold after you already left. But it seems like people do really tend to misjudge. And as much as people talk right now about you being in the wrong. I mean, you are human. And mistakes can be made. I mean, of all things, I left my hometown six years ago and not a lot of people knew about that, although I wasn't in the power. So I I just wanted to say that I don't think they are fully correct about you that makes any sense. What parts do you think they're incorrect about? I feel you have a chance to yeah. still be present. I mean, I mean, I don't know specifically like about the election and stuff, but at least I feel like you have a chance to make amends and have a chance to show that you care, because I feel like you do actually care about this place and about it going right about everything going better than it was it's and i feel like you return, do have yeah. a shot yeah unlike some of them unlike people like asher to be honest <sighs> asher's well asher's asher yeah can i say something of course can if I were to have my memories, I'm not sure how I would actually react in this situation. I don't know what the one with actual full memories thought of you, or maybe he had more info on you than I did. I I, I don't know, but what what how I see things right now, and if my beliefs weren't in a a different place than yours. I I would actually would I would normally would have been willing to actually run by your side in politics if my beliefs weren't different. I hear you. Um, and and I get it too, right? I mean, being into politics and business has always been something I was kind of born into. Almost, I had a whole family that was. Know, about I, that. I know one thing about being born into something, being coming a right hand man of an empire at 
17 years old. I suppose even earlier. Oh, yeah, I think it was a bit earlier. I, it, that's again fuzzy. But yeah, I remember that part. I was already the right hand man of an emperor all the way back then. Well, if quite I quite a big load to have on your shoulders, I'm sure. It wasn't as, as big of a load as having to fan for myself and fearing someone coming down to hunt us and kill us off every single day. Yeah. Or I'm trying also, to solve that. I know what's behind it and why they're here. But mm-hmm. I understand that people don't want to hear that from me because of, you know, me being me. Yeah, I guess. I'd much rather hear from anyone else, but at the moment, nobody else kind of knows what I know. I think that's the only reason I haven't been killed yet. I, I, and feel, I, mean some that. People, I feel some people should at least try to understand what you yeah. might know. Yeah, and some of them today. don't want to understand. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, people should really learn to try to give a chance, no matter how their feelings are bringing the situation to light, they should always try to mm-hmm. understand that what's actually going on more than let feelings take over. It's yeah. done sometimes even as much as your feelings might not want to exactly work with the person. It sometimes is for the better when it comes to stuff like politics or dealing with that followers or Sharma from at least what I heard about them. Yeah. yeah, but well, what I wanted to say is if you need any help with whatever go- is going on, uh, I feel like we wouldn't be against helping you. Yeah. Because well, you I do would... have a point and we kind of, well, at least I do, I won't speak for Q, but I feel like you're being sincere and you do have a shot at actually making this place better. I do hope that what you said during the speech wasn't that light though and you are actually sorry for what you've done what you said that you've done also and not from the rumors. Well, the rumors are true. I was a pretty awful person. I lied and I kept shit away from everyone. Are you sorry for it? Are you you actually willing to change? Yeah. Then then if you want to change, I'm willing to give the chance. Like, people, I I, I actually, yeah, it actually goes together with a question that just came into my head for no reason. I I, I mean, it might have been a reason. I don't know why. It's, I think, a question maybe I was asked before, or I actually don't know. But I think it was in a conversation that she was someone trying to figure things out about you. I'm pretty sure. Who was that? I I I don't know. It's I just remember the question of, do you believe people can change? And I think it was referring to you in a way. Oh, Asher asked us this question the first time we met. Whether was people it can change. Yeah, it was the first time when we met Asher. He asked us about people changing. And I feel like if you want to change and try hard enough, well, you probably could. At this point, when it comes to Asher, I'm... Well, I don't know about Asher, but we're not talking about Asher right now. Asher is different. He's not the person I would trust. And I mean, (laughs) he did some pretty awful things while we were there, even to you, oh, though he's treating me? you. Well, yeah, but <sighs> do you really want to know now? I, I, maybe you can tell me later. I can tell you later. But, yeah, I, I, mm-hmm. I, but yeah, Asher, I don't know, Asher is a very chaotic element for Marigold, and Asher is not a good person. No. That I know. No. I mean, yeah, that's true. Asher doesn't behave like a good person. 
do you two personally know Asher to a somewhat level? Oh, yes. Besides, you know, like yeah. yeah. Yeah, we actually talk to him quite a lot. It's... Well, would it's you, kind of... Yeah? Would you happen to know what this group of people he has? Like, mm. Like-minded people or whatever? Well, we do, in fact, because we kind of joined this group of people in hopes of finding answers of our own and kind of it, it, it turns more into watching over Asher and trying to understand what he's planning in time because it's kind of easier to survive when you know what he's doing. Oh, it, it kind of sucks that even him being a leader, he doesn't tell anyone anything. Well, yeah, he his plans are sometimes very chaotic. Sometimes he does stuff without telling us. I mean, he told us about that meeting that you mentioned when we first met. That was really um, only a bit of part that you apparently stabbed him. But yeah, he, he, he just about. came here. Yeah, he just came and told that you stabbed him without any real context other than that he went to you and that happened. So, mm. yeah. yeah. He's a um, bit of a secretive person, but some stuff we do know. If you're at all familiar with Jay Enterprises, there's a very strict rule about not passing the front foyer with a you know set of armor on you or weapons at your disposal. I think I've always been to Jay Ant before. At least you... not in my current memory. I think you were, but for a short period of time, and it didn't really matter. But yeah, we see that we saw that there is a policy about that. What you did? Well, well, yeah, yeah. He came to my office armed with armor. He just he opened my door you? and stepped in, and he wanted to kill me. Oh, oh my god! Of course he did. Did he, did he succeed or no? We, but, no, we 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 fought for a little, but then. Puffer showed up and broke up the fight. Puffer? Puffer actually did something useful. Wait, wait, but why was Puffer there? He came looking for Asher. I don't know why he thought he'd be at Jane Prizes, but then that's when it kind of was... It dawned on me that he's a part of this group too. Yeah, Because Puffer. Asher he turned is. to Puffer and said that they have plans of their own, much so, like I do. Between the meetings, Puffer is drunk most of the time, so... Well, the first time I did meet Puffer, he was, in fact, drunk. I wasn't expecting even, him to break up a fight between Asher, Wisp, and I. Even during the... During the meeting, he, Puffer the was... The point complete. being yeah. is that he struck me first with his fist. I told him to back off. I don't want to fight him. He kept punching me. That is when I drew my blade. And I stabbed him. He attacked back with his weapons? Was they go to a full fight, or...? No. I think he was waiting for that. That's how awful he is. He, he waited for waiting. me to actually inflict damage upon him, his body specifically. So, so he and could put a blame on you? And ruin your chances even more? Yeah. And then I saw him parading around with the wound, but I think he may have tampered the wound because I stabbed him through armor. Yeah. He couldn't have him bled that bad. That like, does sound it like is Asher. just this. Oh yeah, yeah. That probably won't hurt that much. Oh hmm. no, sorry. It was this. Oh, the, sorry. Regardless. Yeah, regardless. If it's worse through armor, I don't do damage, but not a wound like that. It also yeah. depends on the impact. It actually depends on multiple things. When actually, if you take it to a scientific point of view, it does actually take on multiple things. On sure, the, really, because it depends, because it couldn't have. It, there's a chance it wasn't the blade that did the damage, but the dent in the armor that might have left that ended up making the damage. Fair, Maybe. but that's not the point. Jay was Regardless, there, so he attacked me, and yeah. it's taking so, yeah. little to nothing for him to just spread it around, saying that I hurt him. Yeah, and mm. he didn't get yeah. context on why you hurt him, which makes it even worse. I know people, he... most people don't even question. They just, they just like, oh, well, she hurt him. I'm I know gonna... Asher has done bad things. I'm aware. Oh, yeah. The night I left here, he was already watching me. It's clear to me now that he was well into Marigold in our business, even before I left. He was scoping our city out. So when he saw me leave in the middle of the night, I should have assumed that then I didn't want to. 
but he knew what he was doing. He was waiting for me to leave. And that's when he set his sights on Marigold completely. And in the time he's been here, he's only done bad things. I need to see to it that Asher stopped. He's like a dog with a bone. And I need to take that shit away from him. So, mm-hmm. if you two are willing to help me even in the slightest possible way, I need to know what he does, how he does things, who's involved, and where I can find him. If I'm to stop him, I need to know this. And it'll be my burden alone. I'm not asking you to put up arms with me. I, I just need informants. And I understand this is a heavy pill to swallow, but... I just I'm... need help. I don't know about Kub, but I mean... Asher did a lot of shit, and I mean, you weren't even out there for that long, and he already killed two people. And Wait, Asher killed I'm... two people? Yeah, I'll tell you more about that later. I mean, no, if that picks up right now, we might as well... Do you mind to tell me put me and Jay at the same time? Well, okay, one of those people was actually you. What? Yeah, Asher killed Ku, apparently by accident, or at least that's what he told that's me. Not, it's just kind of... Kind of... Yeah. Kind of, kind of been by accident. There's no way... Well, he said that he wanted to. He want, He said that he wanted to punish you, but also like to more scare you than kill you. But then the, his axe For slipped and stuff. Because apparently you told Puffer uh, the location of uh, Devil's Town. And that's the reason to kill someone. Uh, yeah. Apparently, in Asher's eyes. Like I said, he is an mm-hmm. issue. Yeah. Want to kill Asher? Uh, let's not jump to that, but we will help. Well, at least I will. I can't really say what, if what I will do until my memory comes back. Uh, fair enough. We'll, we'll cross this bridge when we come to it, I suppose. But for uh, now, Anna, you're in, you said? I am, I am in. Cool. I hate to ask you again, but if, if he actually hurt you, killed you, even. I would love your help. I mean, there's a big chance I will help, but where he goes on. I'm not asking you to pick up a blade and fight him with me. I'm not asking you to damage them from within. I just need you I've, to pass I've fought multiple on. wars before, and apparently from what Anna told me, and I think you mentioned his name also, King Green, uh, Apparently, I've I've also done a small bit more than I wanted it to. Ku, we have all done things. Some yeah. worse than others, some more than others. It's but, it's a constant scale of whether or not you've done a whole lot that's not as bad, or you've done. What if something you've done so something? Small? What if you've done something so unforgiving that you would blame us for the rest of your life, but you physically couldn't control it ha- from happening? Marigold was made to be a place where any of us could come to, no matter what we had faced in our past. I am, I am certain that you are different from who you claim to be, and I think everyone can have a second chance. I want one more than anything, and... It feels like a punch in the gut when I founded this place with that intention, and I can't seem to even be taken seriously. Ace if I can here. take down, if I can take down Asher Wisp, and prove that I can be a president who can take care of these issues, I'm willing to do what it takes. That's fair. But the election's coming up. And if I don't find a vice president, then I won't be able to run, and I won't be able to do anything anymore. I mean, then Simon said that if things get bad for you, that he will become your vice? 
I have yet to actually talk to him about that. I was not expecting that. Sai seems Sir Simon. I, I Simon. keep I heard both yeah. I heard both names and both names are new, so I'm still getting mixed up myself. It's it's so, fine. I think it's a recent development too, or at least something I only found out recently. But Well, Simon was talking to J D and he seemed Simon seemed really on your side and I think if it comes to it Simon might with no second thoughts actually want for your advice I'd, I'd have to see I hope things go well that's for sure I, like I said I was not expecting that live on stage and I need to talk with him more before anything is decided uh, all I need to know is that I've been I think we can run yeah. I just need to know that I have an, a shot at doing something. And if I can do it while I'm still president, then sure. Uh, is he drinking again? Oh, fuck. Anyways, yeah. Well, he is I mean, we should yeah, probably he's stop. drinking again. Look, I've tried. If you guys want to take care of that, I mean. Uh, maybe but yeah so if anything like I wouldn't be against helping you with well Asher and just in general so if you ever need to find me or something I mean my I, I put my therapy office at the outskirts of Marigold near right, Sai's house someone pointed it out for me yeah I know that it's a thing is there a way I can contact you through there, like a box or something? Uh, yeah, there is a mailbox. There, there is like a box with for anonymous question near it. I usually check it, and I have a mailbox in my house. My house is at the end of the ice bridge. Right. Okay. And Ku, about you, any way I can contact you in secret? You can always just come over to Anna. As I'm normally over. Yeah, Ku is living with me right now because of this memory issue. Okay. So nobody suspects anything. I won't make the journey to your house often. I'll just leave stuff off as, as an anonymous tip, right? Sure. Is that no, what going on? No, no one ever comes checked over at our places. So even if you yeah. were to go there often, they will notice. Yeah. Yeah, and only people like, who... Yeah. yeah, go ahead. I don't know. I mean, like, that's only people who actually have an appointment with me usually come to the office, so... Got it. And if for whatever reason that place, you know, we become, you know, seen or, you know, and talk come about. Over, come over to the house then. We'll come um, up with a little spot, maybe somewhere in the ground where I can leave stuff and then you leave stuff and then I pick it up and you pick it up. That kind that of thing. That would work also. Sure. I, I'm sorry. Yeah. I come from a pretty brutal past where stuff like that was actually kind of common. Like, you know, leaving little things in the ground. No, it's um, fine. But for us, it was the most of a thing of... Well, for for me, it was more so a thing of you had to, uh, well, <laughs> lie your way through to survive. If uh, they ever found out anything about you, who you actually worked with, you you wouldn't even, you they wouldn't even be able to try to talk to you. You would just be dead right then and there. With what mm-hmm. I said at the at the town hall meeting. My second order was to de- deconsecrate J Enterprises. That that means it's no longer a government building, and I can't rely on the Knights or MBS, for an example, to uphold anything that goes on in there. And if you didn't know, that rule I was talking to you about, about the no armor, no weapons, mm-hmm. uh, that would Jay. be removing that rule. Jay. Yeah, I see him. Oh. We spoke earlier. He's not happy oh. with me. Is Fair. who exactly is he? That's there. He's a, another scientist, also reporter, also captain of the Knights. I appointed yeah, him. Yeah, the captain um, of the Knights. He hasn't been there for quite a while. Well, I think he's taking pointers from MBS, always somewhere. Hmm. Of course. Of course it's MBS. <laughs> Yeah. In the end, that rule of, you know, making Jay Enterprises not a governmental building welcomes the thought of, you know, should he actually want to, and I'm in there, 
he can kill me and get away with it. And I think the scariest part is that with my current like being amongst everyone, my you know, my reputation, right? I'm worried if anybody will even give a damn. Because I know the former people that have been in office haven't really done much against uh, Asher, except banish him and unbanish him and again and again. So if it comes down to it, I may not survive it. It will be open season. Probably even once I lose the election, which I'm pretty sure I will be losing the election. I'm simply yeah. just running whether or not I have a partner or not just to show that I'm going to try anyways. That's how much I care. That's why I came back. Everything what I said then is true. I hold no malice towards the people. It's Once you do go for an election, and if you are to lose, I think I should, you, I would. I already feel sorry for you in advance knowing what's going to come with Asher. I will definitely brag about it in your face. How do you mean? Yeah. You'll, well, seeing that you've lost and you've failed, I think Asha will probably take some pride of... Oh, sorry, I misinterpreted own. what you said. Yes. It, it's fine. I don't think well. it would be the worst thing for Asha to do, to be honest. I mean, he probably would just come and try to... If he, if or something. he does that, I might just die days later. Yeah. It took him two days oh. to actually come and find me after I returned. And try to hurt me. Almost to kill me. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Yeah. Well, if it comes to that, it's a different conversation, a different measures that could be taken. And I, f and I feel I should probably be really punished if anyone was I, I, anyone like even if it wasn't to be like maybe the, like, the then president of Marigold like even I, even if I think his his own group found out about it I feel I might even you know still take measures I mean if if Asher tries to do something to Jay I feel like with the conventus and stuff with, I'm sorry to say that, but with current uh, moods around the town, I don't feel like the measures against Asher would be as drastic as they should have. I mean, I'll make sure they are. Yeah, well, if I'll I die, try to prevent that. If I die to Asher, to whoever he can, you know, gather to come kill me. I want that to be a sign to you too, and to anyone else, that he really is an issue that he needs to be dealt with. Because if I die, I don't think anybody else in power can really do that. I used to trust JD a lot, but I just fear that he's just been making the wrong choices. He hasn't dealt with Asher sooner, and I'm trying to deal with him as quickly and as precisely as I can. But if he manages to kill me, I want people to realize that. To realize that, you know, he needs to go. Until then, who knows who else he kills. Maybe I can actually get away with just arresting him. Maybe. Really well, you what, to be fair... He was in prison already twice, and, if I'm not mistaken. And, and he was just the thing, the thing with Asher. He he willingly waited. I'm pretty sure. It's it's just yeah, a him he, thing to do. There's no way prison. he would stay there. If he, I, I feel he would have probably. He there's no way he would. There's but with like so much people by his side, even yeah. those. Like some people aren't like you know it's like, like me on you, but there's definitely some people who are, are actually completely on Asher's side. So there's no way like if if Asher just got to prison all by himself, 
Yeah, you know, I feel like, like they would have someone break to break out. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there is always moss. And even with supervision, like, yes, he he has been there, but it was it was like for two weeks or something, and then he was let out, and then he was banished from Marigold. But then he kind of like asked nicely and helped with rebuilding stuff, and he was just let in. Yeah. So yeah, that's an issue. No, it's just him it's, again. It's yeah. him. Uh, there's listening, and no way, gonna be a show. Or no. What okay. needs to happen is that if I can manage to get him arrested or sent to prison again, however, I'll make sure he doesn't live. Probably do everyone a favor. Okay. So that is make, if I can get make that work. It's a slippery bastard. Well, I'll do what I can do with that. I mean, he still trusts us to some extent, so... Yeah. I'll try to find a way. In the meantime, take a look at your, uh, your box. I'll be sending mm -hmm. some stuff over the next little bit as I get my bearings and figure out what exactly I'm going to do now that uh, my first presidential order has really gone into effect, starting tomorrow. It means Jane Prices is an open season place. It is not liked by many. Okay. So, That's I will get to, to it, and I appreciate you, you know, hearing me out and wanting to be a part of something good. We need to do something. Yeah. Okay, and thanks again for showing up to the town hall. It was, I, I got a little bit panicky towards the end because I, it's been a minute since I've addressed such a huge crowd, but <laughs> I, I'm, I'm glad yeah. to see some new faces come around, you know, faces I can trust. So, thank you. Yeah. Sincerely. Yeah, and Jay, try to not blame yourself too much. I try, but I appreciate the sentiment anyway. All right, I'll leave you two to yeah. it. Let's Appreciate everything. Go else. take a look what's going on with Ace. Yeah. All right. You, take care. You, you do that. I think I'm gonna separate again. Oh yeah, sure. All right. Okay. See you guys later. Yeah. See ya. Goodbye, Jay. Bye. Ace. Ace, what's going on? <sighs> Not very good things. What happened? Well, they have massive that was something. Didn't know what to expect, really. Should probably find Simon. Wonder if he's even around. I think I'm just going to head home.
in the meantime. Maybe I can figure out how to feed these frogs. They're melodies, and I know they're gone for a little, so... I don't exactly know what I feed these little guys, but, um... Maybe something. What do I feed frogs? That is the question for today. Screw everything else I've been talking about today. How do I feed frogs? Oh. Well, I don't want to breed them, so. Which one gets the slime ball? Actually, but I remember there being one up on the roof. I really have to climb up my roof. This guy, Chungas. <laughs> Melly sure has a way with their with their names. I wonder if I can feed the one above and the one down there. Is that possible? It's been a minute. How are you? I've been better, but you know, that's the way the, that things go. Um, is Melody around? Uh, no, sadly, no. Um, they actually, uh, went to their home home, is what they call it. Um, home home. Just a bit far from here, I guess. So, um, you know, had my own stuff around today, so I was actually, you know, feeding their frogs. Figuring that out. I, I found out today it's slime balls, but uh, you just caught me in the middle of that. Oh, so, anyways, what's going on with you? Gotcha. I. Well, a lot. I just. Um, it would. I, there's some stuff that they were telling me about that I don't think I gave the, the whole light of day on. And now I'm starting to realize I should have because it's getting more and more important to me. Yeah, and do you, do you want to come inside, things. or are you just passing through? Or? Um, I'm just passing through. I mean, like, once once they're back, we can probably talk about it, but yeah, sure. for now, it's, it's a little, it's a little private. Yeah, of course. Uh, do you want me to pass it on for them, or do you just uh, want to wait good. until they're back? Feel free to, like, if you want to, like, you don't have to do it. But, like, I mean, this isn't, like, life threatening. Whatever you feel is best. I simply live in a house with them, so I mean, I wouldn't mind carrying that for you, but, um, you know, it's for them and them only, so none of my business. If you do end up seeing them, then yeah, that'd be appreciated. Yeah, for sure. Um, I know they're going out for a few days, but, uh, Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, so. Sorry, you were saying? Yeah, it's good to see you're alive and well and everything. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. I, I just haven't got a chance to run into you. I, I've been back for a little bit. Um, 
good. It's good yeah, to see you again. Like, I, I know you're one of the, you know, one of the first that uh, you know showed up, you know, with YB and all that. So it's a yeah. nice memory. It was a long while ago. Yeah, I'm still kicking. That's good to hear. So, hey, same here, right? So, you know. Yeah. All right. Well, when I see Melody again, I will tell her that you swung by, and I'll point them in your direction. That'd be lovely. Thank you. All right. Your house is still that one on the like next to the docks, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought. But okay. Cool. So when I see them, right. I'll just tell them you came by, and yeah. Got it. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Nice seeing you again, Lucky. All right. Bye. All right. Take it easy. Bye now. Should probably feed this last bro. Just who gets it? Yeah, maybe I don't want them to breed up there. Maybe I. You know, I will simply wait. I hope I'm being a good pet ticker caretaker. Yeah. Yeah, I should probably put this away. I don't want to just carry slime on me. As for you, Ducky, I haven't let you out of my sight. It's been a minute since I've heard from you, but I should be finding Hollow soon. <sighs> okay. Well, I can just hope tomorrow goes a little bit better. Maybe I can talk to Simon then. <sighs> what a nice day it was. Here's some dogs barking. I wonder who those are. Oh, it's probably mine. <laughs> well, yeah, can only hope that tomorrow will be better. That's all I can hope at this point. That tomorrow will be a better day. I stand here, Marigold. And if I'm capable of being accepted. <sighs> Until next time. <laughs>